All right, uh, we're going to name some more compounds that are uh, molecular compounds. Uh, this is video four. These are the prefixes. Once again, do not use mono on the first one ever. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, I want to show you uh, a few more. Uh, one of the ones that we're going to look at is uh, N2. O. In naming this, you list the elements involved. We've got nitrogen and a little bit of a space. We've got oxygen. We've got two nitrogens, so di. Remember, it's okay to use that prefix on the first one. You just can't use mono. Uh, now, on this one, we have only one oxygen, so we know we can use mono on the second one. That's okay. okay so we got that prefix. Now, once again, we need to figure out um, how to add IDE to the end of that. Now, you've seen the other three videos. You'll know that oxygen will finally become oxide. Now, the problem is going to happen when we get ready to add this prefix mono to this. Because if we add mono to this, we'll get MNO. O X I D E, which is, you know, this O O sound is monoxide, which is wrong. It's supposed to be monoxide. So basically, uh, the rule is the two O's is a no. You can't do that. Okay. Now, two I's is a yes. You can do that. So if you have two I's, that's okay, but if you have two O's in a row, that's a no. Okay. Anyway, let's name this guy. This is uh, for N2O. This is di-nitrogen monoxide, M-O-N-O-X-I-D-E. Notice that out of these two O's, I only used one. So just mark out one of the O's and just use it. Okay. Now, um, let's go and look at uh, another one. Let's look at I2F3. Okay. We're going to look at it. And let's concentrate on it. Make a list out again. We've got... Um, Two iodine, so we'll make a list. Iodine is I O D I N E. We've got iodine. Two of those, so there's di. Uh, we've got three fluorines, so there's a tri. Okay, and fluorine is F L U O R I N E. Now I told you it's nice when you have these I N E's because all you have to do is just drop them off and add I D E and you're done. But anyway, um, let's put this together now. We've got for the I2F3, we've got di -o -dine. Now that's why I wanted to use this one, is to show you that two I's is okay. Two I's are good. Remember, two I's are a yes. And <laughs> two O's, well, that's not good. You're not allowed to have that. Okay? So this is diiodine tri. Instead of fluorine, it'll be fluoride. And that's it on that. Now the last ones I want to mention, uh, I haven't covered yet, but I guess if you want to, you can call this part five. But anyway, um, it's the diatomics. If you see any of these, okay, if you see H2, it's diatomic, its name is just hydrogen okay if you see Cl2 that's chlorine okay so basically uh, that, that it's just their names on the periodic table uh, I think uh, they are H2 Cl2 F2 Br2 um, we got F2 got Br2 Cl2 uh, I think one is At2 Let's see, I might be forgetting one. Oh, I am. Oxygen. You got O2. Um, some more uh, N2. Nitrogen. Let's see if we've got them all. We've got one, two, three, four, 
five, six. Count again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm missing one. That's out of the halogens. Uh, let's see what we got here out of the halogens. I'll look on the computer real quick and get those for you. Okay. Um, let's see. Out of the halogens, we've got fluorine, which I've got. Bromine. Oh, well, duh. Iodine. Okay, so if you see any of these, this is hydrogen, this is chlorine, this is fluorine, bromine, acetine, oxygen, nitrogen, and iodine. So if you see those at any time by themselves, then it's just their names, okay? And I believe that covers it. I think that covers all of naming the molecular compounds. So I hope this helps.